Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome back to How Do I Root the Nook Color to Run Honeycomb, aka Android 3.0, on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're going to take a look at how to get honeycomb on your Nook Color, and in this episode specifically, we're going to be preparing our micro SD card and putting the honeycomb image on it in Windows. We're using Windows 7 here, but the process will be pretty much the same in any version of Windows. On the Mac, we were able to write the Nook Honey image to our micro SD card with a few terminal commands. On Windows, we'll have to download some software to perform the same task. Before we do anything else, we need to download the nookhoney04.img.zip from bscotch.tv slash nookhoney. The software we'll be using to write the image is called WinImage. You can grab it from bscotch.tv slash winimage. All these links are in the show notes for this episode on butterscotch.com. WinImage is shareware, and the trial period is good for 30 days. Install the software. In the disk menu, choose Restore Virtual Image to Physical Drive, and browse to the unzipped nookhoney.img file. You might have to change file type to display all files if you're not seeing your .img file. The write will take about 10 minutes. Don't touch anything during this time. When the write is finished, WinImage will let you know. Safely eject your micro SD card and remove it from the computer. Ensure your Nook color is powered down and insert the micro SD card into the slot at the bottom right of the device. Boot it up and in about 45 seconds you're running Honeycomb on your Nook color. You'll notice a distinct lack of Google apps like Gmail and most notably the Android market. The legal terms of use for Android prohibit developers from packaging these apps into builds that haven't been specifically authorized by Google. In the next episode, we'll look at getting these important add-ons up and running on your Nook Color running Honeycomb. For more episodes in this series and for full step-by-step -step show notes on the rooting process, visit Butterscotch.com.